Footage of the Campbell County vice and corruption cleanup in the 1960s helped give Channel 9 News a great jump start. Prostitution and gambling had been a major industry for years, and finally some folks said, enough. Businessmen, civic leaders, and just plain folks pooled resources. They got former Notre Dame and Cleveland Browns quarterback George Ratterman, a Fort Thomas stockbroker, to run for sheriff. Newport Police Chief George Google, who eventually was kicked out of office by the governor, seemed to be the only adult in town who was unaware of the vice and corruption. Ratterman agreed to run for sheriff, but he was ambushed by one of the mob, former Xavier University football star Tito Carinci. Carinci asked Ratterman to meet him at the Glen Rendezvous in Newport. They were to talk politics. The real plan was somebody would slip George a Mickey. His drink was drugged. He was carried upstairs and laid in bed with a stripper named April Flowers, then arrested by police. Do you believe Ratterman's story that he was drugged? No, sir. What do you believe? I believe that it, he got caught in a, uh, he's human like anyone else. He got caught and was too weak to admit it. Do you, uh, do you concede that he was in a uh, delirious condition mentally? No, sir. No more than anybody else would after they had a few drinks. Ratterman's trial on a disorderly conduct charge was a zoo, a circus without elephants. The photographer named Thomas Withrow, who was supposed to take pictures of George and the stripper in bed. Withrow backed out, spilled the beans, and revealed the dastardly plot cooked up by Carinci and his friends. Case dismissed. Would you say that uh, Mr. Carinci's estimate of what happened there was an accurate one? Yes, I would say so. Did you feel that you had been abused in any way in this case? Yes. In what way? Um, by being called a prostitute. This, uh, this is a charge that has never been made before? Uh, no. Ratterman, of course, went on to be elected sheriff, and the cleanup continued unabated. Carinci and five others were indicted on conspiracy charges, but to no one's surprise, they were never convicted. You've been drugged through a lot of mud. How, do, how does it react to you? To say dragged through a lot of mud or drugged through <laughs> a lot of, uh, of mud? Well, uh, this is an unfortunate uh, situation. Uh, a lot of sordid details uh, have been mentioned in this court case. You don't like to get mixed up in anything of this nature. It's been per uh, particularly difficult for us because we knew of this uh, photographer's testimony that would eventually come out, uh, Mr. Withrow's testimony. We've known of that since the day after this incident. And it has been extremely difficult to sit there and, and hear a lot of the, uh, the things that are said that are perhaps damaging to one's reputation and not be able to get up and shout, I can prove that this is all the frame up, that this is all false. It's been difficult from that standpoint. Mrs. Ratterman, you have uh, maintained the most composure of anyone during this thing. How could you do it? With the risk of being facetious, I might say I had a little chloral hydrate. 